In the soul of everyone, there is a spark, a divine ember, a glint of life, of purpose, faith, direction. Gifts for a God-sized assignment meant for influencing, connecting, restoring. But the darkness means to extinguish this light, to snuff it out. It exploits the unfair circumstance, the shaming voice, the swollen ego, the corrupt system to dim and darken the flame God lit. The darkness schemes to destroy this light because the collective flames of God's children on earth could undo the darkness entirely. But in opposition, all over his creation, the breath of God blows on these embers of the soul, sparking, kindling, fanning ember to flame because he knows a single flame God did in us at the Global Leadership Summit in Australia, my husband and I moved halfway around the world to follow God's call. I now use my skills as a chef to train refugees. Almost all the refugees we serve are hired into restaurant jobs, transforming not only their lives, but the lives of their whole family. Because of what God did in me, the Global Leadership Summit, I was able to solve my biggest leadership challenge. The tools the summit gave me united the once divided things that leading of the Son of Mania. Now we work together, seriously, and are more effective than ever for the kingdom. Because of what God did in me at the Global Leadership Summit, I changed my career path in my life to serve at Risk Youth in São Paulo, Brazil. In the last year, I have the honor to be an agent of transformation in the lives of hundreds of these kids. Using what we learned from attending the Global Leadership Summit year after year, the oldest Baptist church in Brooklyn was able to focus its vision on reaching, discipling, and planting churches among addicts, alcoholics, their families, and friends. We are now the Recovery House of Worship, a Christ-loving church home to the marginalized. Because of what God did to me at the Global Leadership Summit, I was prompted to start a ministry to prison inmates in my country, Kenya. Today, this ministry serves over hundreds of Kenyan inmates. We are seeing amazing transformations in their lives. God is breathing life into his people through the Global Leadership Summit. Whose ember could he fan to flame?